The Big Sur track from Bay to Bay is 32 nautical miles long. Airplanes traverse the track in about 8 minutes, descending from just above 13,000 feet to just below 4,000. Big Sur is a traditional idle power descent, or IPD, approach. With the engines at flight idle, airplanes descend by alternating between constant speed glides at 3 degrees and short horizontal slowdown coasts. It's a little bit like a water park slide. Pre-NextGen, most flights used visual approaches, which leveled off at 5,000 feet over Palo Alto, shown in faded green. This is discouraged now, and so all flights reach Menlo at 4,000 feet. Here's a one-day snapshot of real descent profiles at Big Sur, including the visual approaches. The variance between flights occurs because of wind, temperature, type of plane, etc. In March of 2015, the FAA introduced the surfer arrival, which was intended to use an optimized power descent approach. The solid green lines are based on the FAA's slope guidelines for OPD, which are in the range of 2.72 to 2.85 degrees. OPD approaches are a type of idle power approaches, but do not rely on flat spots for slowing down. The fact that OPD is so similar to traditional IPD is only natural. OPD is simply a more streamlined way of following, of following the principle of idle power descent. Both the advantages and supposed downfalls of OPD have been greatly exaggerated by the FAA and by some residents, respectively. Except two problems occurred during the implementation. First, the ground track was shifted by about four miles at the Santa Cruz coastline and is now overflying mountain communities, whereas before it avoided them. OPD or IPD there is no such thing as zero-noise flight, and the location of the ground track is really important. Second, there's the SFO Class B airspace, and traffic must remain inside of it and not fly below it. See the problem? The planes are clipping the corner of the Class B boundary. Doesn't look like much, does it? However, it is the response to the problem that has caused all the commotion. To prevent airplanes from exiting the Class B airspace, air traffic control manually directs planes to fly level at either 10,000 or 8,000 feet, and then steps them down. This solves the Class B problem, but this is level flight with power, which is the exact thing OPD was supposed to eliminate, and it is very noisy. Since the Accept Maintain directive is given far in advance, the planes descend early, and level flight with power affects communities all the way out to the Monterey Bay coastline. This is what it looks like in reality. The horizontal traces of level flight with power are very clear. This is what's generating the noise. It's not OPD that's noisy. It's air traffic control's response to fixing the Class B problem that's noisy. The planes are flying with the engines powered up, and because of that they later have to use speed brakes in order to descend at a steeper angle. Eliminating this behavior will help everyone up and down the track. This effect far outweighs any noise impact due to small altitude deviations. The problem is exacerbated by the large window at Waypoint Epic. Such windows are supposed to help constrain airplanes if they are taken off the procedure by air traffic control. However, Surfer only has one such window, and it is much too wide. The solution is simple, a small tweak of the Class B airspace, so that the problem is not triggered in the first place. With the tweak in place, OPD can be flown as intended. Therefore, the change in the Class B definition is not designed to allow surfer to remain low and noisy, as some have suggested, but rather to fix a problem and enable OPD to be flown as intended, eliminating level flight with power. Being a true IPD, the OPD approach should be as quiet, if not quieter, than traditional IPD approaches were. To provide extra assurance of that, the control windows should be refined to better constrain the airplanes. However, since there is no such thing as zero-noise flight, the ground track has to be restored to where it originally was. It should not have been moved, and it affects less people over there. It is a noise abatement track, and we know that it worked.